This tutorial looks at a key AO3 skill of writing evaluation for your A-level psychology exam. An exam, you are most likely to be required to evaluate either theories of psychology or research and demonstrate these theories. An example of a theory is any behavior, uh, any explanation for a behavior, for example, the multi-store model, which explains how human memory works. Research is any um, study done uh, that demonstrates this um, theory or supports this theory. For example, the HMK study, which goes on to demonstrate key elements of the multi-store model of memory. What elements should a good evaluation have? Things that you can include are uh, points that are good about a theory, strengths of a theory, what makes this theory strong, what makes this theory useful. Um, you can also include weaknesses. So sometimes theories do not have uh, complete explanations of a particular behavior. So what um, is lacking? This is what you can highlight. Or maybe why a research might be not so effective uh, because there's something within this procedure that does not highlight uh, a human behavior accurately. Other things that you can include is value of the theory or research. Can it be applied in real life? What's the use of doing that research? Why, why do we need to understand that theory? A technique to help you do this would be peel, where you state your point. Right in the beginning, you clearly state one strength of uh, or one weakness is. So you are directing the reader um, exactly into what you are going to be talking about. That makes it very clear. Um, uh, follow this up with an explanation. So you might have used key academic language, key terminology uh, in your point. These need to be followed up with simple language. Support all of this with research evidence. So what uh, research support does your point have? You do not need to describe the study in depth. Use key elements such as just the findings maybe because that may illustrate your point better. And finally, link it all up together. So let's look at an example. Here is a sample evaluation point, which could get you up to three marks in an exam, A or three mark. Um, and it is a single, please note, it's just one point of evaluation. So we're looking at evaluating the multi-store model of memory. Right in the beginning, it says one main limitation is that the MSM is simplified. What does it mean? The MSM provides a simple explanation of the short-term memory, describing it as just a unitary store. Back up with evidence. As you can see, with the evidence, we're only looking at findings. Yeah, it found that KF short-term memory was poor when we did this, but better when, when this was done. Again, what does this mean? This indicates that there are more than one type of short-term memory. Linking it back to the multi-store memory, saying that this does not support what the multi-store model said, that the STM is just a single store. So how many of these in-depth points in an answer? For a six mark answer, two to three such in-depth points, you are quite likely to be asked to evaluate uh, in essay questions, um, where AO3 can be six marks or 10 marks, accordingly adjust how many points you need to put in there. These can be a mixture, so you can use one strength, two weaknesses, one application, it doesn't have to be balanced out. Very, very important. Use relevant key terminology like generalizability, reductionism, um, application, um, Yes, use key terminology in your writing. Thank you for listening. Here are the resources that I have used to help me develop this video. Thank you.